Next, we have coming up Mr. Fernando. Fernando is an absolute assassin when it comes to SEO. I mean, right. this guy is amazing. Uh, he ranks number one in the UK for any term that he feels that he wants to actually have and absolutely like crushes it. So, um, any questions or comments or anything that you have, like, you know, hold those off to like the end of everything. He's going to like let it rip with a ton of phenomenal content and I'm going to get all your stuff pulled up. All right. So, so yeah, like I'm, you can just find it up first of all. And uh, whoever whoever here has uh, heard about SEO, like uh, played around SEO, anybody's interested about SEO, like not really, just want to get an idea, but you know, right? You know about SEO, you heard about SEO, you're interested, you want to rank your social media agency probably in Amsterdam or where? Um, or anywhere. In the anywhere, it's tough. You got to reach down the, uh, down the, the city. Yeah. I'm going to go through this then if you can just play it under. But anyway, let's see if I can play yeah. it. All right, let's see if we what, what do you guys do? We have so much. So I'll be looking at the US market. Yeah. Okay. What would you do? Uh, project manager. I'm working at a company. I yeah. do. I do. Why the plan? You want to leave the job? Not really. Probably. Probably. Do you want to start your own consulting agency or something? Yeah. I do. Yes. Okay. Sure. So. Um, yeah. Got it. So, yeah, you guys can just right now just Google SEO consultant, SEO consultant London, and literally see I'm legit, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, basically for what I'm offering, am I ranking on top of Google, right? So I started myself as a freelance SEO consultant, and then basically I want to do my job as she said, like I was doing a job based that um, after my graduation, I'm like being an office, right? And then uh, doing a uh, yeah. I'll start with my story. What uh, motivated me? Also, I was reading around about what I can really offer to the larger scale and how can I break free. So, and then I read this uh, the four article, which takes about SEO is going to be highly in demand. Every business owner is going to want SEO, and they want to rank high on Google. So that really opened up my thing, and I built a blog and I wrote a blog post about uh, like different subjects, and those start getting traffic. I was getting. Yeah, people connecting with me, they were like appreciating those articles I put, so I'm like, this is kind of real, right? You write something, you put it on Google, you rank on the people, unknown people get to find you, and then uh, this is the start of it. Like, I mean, then I start going deep, like learning this back in 2014. I record a YouTube video, like if you even literally Google SEO outsourcing, it ranked in like two hours. So SEO was easy at that time, but I, for some, for some reason, I think the dynamics had the title tag and it's and up. This one was great, yeah. So, forward. yeah, just have from the space that you can have some business on the space. Oh, no, 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 open slide. Oh, no, this no, is the video slide. I recorded. Okay, yeah, this has the entire talk if anybody wants to record a group or something. Yeah. So, open the presentation. Yeah, okay. that's the one. Uh, did you guys saw? I'm writing talk right here. Yeah. And then, uh, so, uh, went deep on that, really went on studying, really went on studying. Yeah, one, yeah, first. Number one. one. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one, right? Number one ranking. So, that's I already told you can go to the second slide if you can have. And these are the, the ranks. These are like literally the money ranks which gets my phone ringing every day. Clients are walking in there. This is how they get fined. Right. So, if I tell you a little bit, like, so that motivated me. So, I went deep, like, to lock myself in a room, living in a box room in Queensbury. And uh, because I'm like, I just want to make this thing happen. I want to get money rolling and want to break free. So, then I found about there is a demand for WordPress training, which is like something that I want to learn to build my website. So, I wrote a big blog post, which is still there. It ranked in like, you know, two days. Right, people called and I had my telephone number and the stuff and all they were like asking for WordPress training courses. So I got started with that. Started doing charging per person 125 pounds and I'm making more money like sometimes three, four trainings, five trainings. I'm like getting on cash 500 plus pounds a week and then no tax. I'm like, can I have to pay the tax, right? And then it really motivated me, right? So then I went on that dynamics and uh, one of my looks, so I was like going to events and the stuff my lawyer introduced to a rubbish removal company. So at that time even I really didn't know the, the the dynamics of SEO, but I would like act like I really know that one. So I got my first client, we tested everything. In a month they ranked and uh, start picking up and then rank myself by like uh, mid of 2014 for freelance SEO consultant London. Got a lawyer calling in Candy Walk, went there for the Canada Water Square building and went to the 36th, no, 30th, 31st floor and they were there. I was looking at them and I'm like, I want to live there. I was literally thinking, I want to have an agency, I want to live there. I had that written and right now I live there. Like, 
and like few minutes from my agency to door to door is like one minute. And I live like near the candy bar, mm -hmm. water front, everything. I'm just like saying this is the possibility, everything was written. So uh, that's my motivation in back to 2014. That's like the first time I've been to Candy Bar. I was in London in Queensbury, didn't want to go like with what about the, the travel card fees and the stuff and all. Mm -hmm. So uh, start that, got deep, got the next clients, went to BNI networking events with most of you guys in UK have heard about BNI. Literally from what I'm sharing you all like some tips if you think like you want to start attacking and getting your two three clients it is going to be there right how you can go to a bni meetup group have your visiting cards have a nice website or oh, it's a facebook page and i say portion yourself like you're doing this and you guys are doing probably right and then go and just talk and get because every business owner want to see you like literally if you talk to a local business owner for a dentist for an orthodontist everybody want um, seo this is like when you go even the fundamentals you don't have to be an expert like it takes time but when we know the on page elements which i'm going to cover like the core secrets which a person if they know how to spot it and say that in your website it's wrong you can just like first like do that when you're having a job i did it i got the first client moved to london lost the client in a month Right, I'm like, what the hell I'm gonna pay the rent, right? right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but these skills, it's if you're happy in a job, it's good to start testing and get like two, three clients who pay you like 300 pounds a month. And then um, then apply that one and uh, you can really put the time and start loading. So yeah, let's get to this one. And um, that was the ranks, ranking as well. So I'm gonna go a little bit of a tips about SEO because I believe whoever gonna start a business or else if you're gonna hire an SEO consultant or anybody, you know those core elements which you can literally see. Most probably you don't want to do it, even if you're a business owner. But by knowing that, you can spot on, uh -uh, this guy's not doing that one, that's wrong, so this is what we need on it. And also, the, these fundamentals are learnable by anybody, and as a person who want to go into the business industry, want to build something, should do that. Right? So, first of the thing, having a killer website. Even if you want to start, start uh, just go on the next one, right? Have, having a killer website which is on page SEO that what's on page SEO which is giving the right signals to Google in a manner they can understand your website better because they're not going to manually come and have a look on the site from the front end they're going to they can only understand those core elements which is called which you're going to see on the next slides and uh, when you make it easy Google is going to like okay this site is covering up this like industry so HR you want to rank for HR consultant London right you rank number one you're going to get calls and uh, so that's what you want so when you do the on-page elements, like which is the title tag, the meta description, like the title tag, which you guys are going to see next, is the title which you write that Google can read at much easier. Mm -hmm. If it is SEO consultant, can you go to Google or can you go to Google right now? Is it working? Mm -hmm. You can just give it a try so that this can can really see it as an example. So. Uh, title tag is what's going to give the first message when a person is writing for search for dentist near me. So if your title tag is right, then it's going to have to, yeah, just search for SEO consultant and I'll come in number one right now. <laughs> <laughs> number one, right? So uh, not only that, only, I mean, um, these are the ads, these are like map results for vary, and then this is, uh, this also depend on, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm number one, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, um, Yes, that's, uh, so also I rank my agency as well. Only a SEO consultant who rank himself as a SEO consultant in London plus rank his agency. So I probably really want the best thing in this industry. Right? So this is the title tag, right? This is what I, uh, which I told when I said the title tag. This is the title tag you read. And you've got to bring the keyword that you want to rank as. Like if you think free like, like uh, HR consultant, you've got to bring it here. Then you've got to have those supporting keywords here. And the next one which is having the meta description is this one. Right, Google reads this, Google reads this, then they quickly get the signals to understand the website is covering this topic, it's good to send. And they will have stored data on their the caching systems, like really going through this site is having food on page time and all those kind of things which you're going to see anyway. Right? And uh, have those stored and like okay, this site is good to be sticked there because anybody who's looking for SEO consultant, freelance consultant, SEO expert, all those terms, I have a pen book that page. This is the, the best web page and uh, half a million half a million pound web page like as to uh, this web page alone, right? And then uh, you can see how much of work has been done for this web page because it ran for so many keywords. London is your consultant, London is your expert, is your expert, London is your expert in London. All these terms are like on paper click are like uh, 10 pounds to get a click on like if you want to click, I'm ranking organically, right? So you can see if 
if you are like especially like I assume you guys are going for build a business, right? Then you need a website. So this is a website which has been done, the site architecture also showing everything in a presentable manner, which Google loves it, which I said on page SEO. Done in a manner to score the best on page tag. And uh, then Google is like, okay, this page should have more keywords relating to SEO <coughs> consultant. And uh, see, like, like if you search for any other SEO consultant on the entire UK, they don't have a page like that. I built this page in last May, one of my designers of the company I built there. I literally wrote a blog post in two days, I'm going to rank number one, right? And I even have that post also mentioned in this announcement, PR and all, like, because I knew it, like, you build the most amazing website. And really scope it on page SEO. Let's go for the slides. And uh, then you have the chance, and then it comes to hard work, which I'm going to share with you all the core secrets which you're going to use, which any business owner can do. And um, let's go that one. Yeah. And I'm going far too far. It's too advanced. Yeah, let's go for that one. Next one. Yeah. Yeah, so then the meta description, which I saw, if you guys want the presentation, you can give it to them. Literally, it will have a full explanation what's a meta description. But I show you, the title tag has to be supported by a meta description. But if you got a website done by a freelance person, most probably they're not going to worry about that because the front end shows it. And even if the meta description section is not filled, Google will pick up something from the page, so you don't even know that. Like, and the web designer had done the job and given you the site, right? And then your site never ranks, right? Even though then you go for a SEO consultant who's going to charge some money, it might probably not rank because they also don't know this needs to be filled in a proper manner. You've got to stick to title tag, has to be 70 characters, could go slightly more, but the keywords has to be within the 70 characters, which I showed that example. Meta distributed 160 characters, really got to try to not go about that because if Google says Google has 200 ranking factors, and if you Stick to that, they love it. You're not, you're not breaking it up, right? So that's a meta description. And then the keywords, you've got to identify what keywords you're going after. Let's say you have, you know, website. <coughs> huh? What's the website you got? No, don't say it. Like, tell the name anyway. It's so Mark Consulting. Mark and Consulting. That's not number one. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Are you in the first page? Uh, I was on the first page before, but I don't know if it is now, but it should be. It should if be. If you type Smart Consulting Hershen, then it should come up. Oh, ah, you that's not a brand name. No, 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 Smart Consulting is my name, and then basically, but then if you type in like my area, it comes out. If you just what? type Smart Consulting, obviously I'm not going to be on, I don't know, another But that's your brand name, right? Smart Consulting, I'm yes. going to cover you right now, just go and apply that on how to literally take a Google business listing, uh -huh. right? Okay. For your brand name. And then your keyword could be, what could be your keyword that you would look as your customer for what you're offering? What would you go to Google and say? Small business owners. Um, no, like, that's uh, not a focus keyword. That's not, no, that you're offering HR, right? Yeah, yeah, HR consultants. Yeah, so your ideal keyword is to rank with your consultants, freelancers, yes. your HR consultant, yes. HR consultants, yes. HR consultancy agencies, yes. HR consultancy for so on business, right? So this is what you need to get on the page that you target to go after. Just yes. say you have the home page that you're targeting for those terms, those are money. You rank for those keywords. There are like, your phone can be ringing the next half an hour for me. Mm. You do that. Right? So if you have that, get the proper pay, your price is right, your telephone number is right. Yeah. But tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, we can literally bring your phone with the leads. Yes, because right? I've got the number, because basically my web designer put me into number one, but I was like maybe like no, one from the end. No, for number one for what? What did you work for number one? For, it was for like, a company service for a child consultant, sorry. Oh, nice one. Let me have a look on that one later, right? Yeah. So, there's the other keyword. So, what she said, that's a keyword that needs to be properly presented on the, yeah. the web page, right? Then you really make it easy for the Google. Okay, that's the thing. That's why, as a business owner, we want to go after uh, getting a website done. We got to know this one, which is web designers are going to do that. We When we do website, we need to make sure this is done and given to a website owner. When we do a website, even without offside issue, they kind of like bounce into like the top 10 pages. But sometimes, like, fifth page, it's like, third page depending on the competition so because we try to stick for those things and the keyword density try to make sure your keyword you don't stuff it in the early days you could stuff keywords and have like the keyword the same keyword like in a crazy way you would rank because it's more stuffing gone other days right and then right now i would say if it is a chart consultancy try to have it like think uh, the three percent of it that keyword in a manner to support that one it's like storytelling when you uh, when you search that one and keyword density has to that supported keyword to know more and three percent like Google favors that one, right? And then they log in. So you have a domain, so you've got to start logging to really support your root domain and like feeding. We blog every day. If you search the if you uh, Facebook, uh, not Facebook with the blog, we are blogging and also we have we are blogging on Facebook, we're doing Google blogging teach you guys are gonna learn like the, the killer secret, right? Anybody who has a Google business listing should start getting things from Google.
I'm going to show you how you are going to get links from Google, right? Literally from Google interface. So daily blogging, try to do it, have a platform like medium.com, you can have it on the handphone and you guys can start storytelling, like whatever. If you're running a social media consultancy agency, you can download the app called Medium on your thing and start blogging. You're blogging all the way. And WordPress also, you can blog on the handphone. So you can become a blogger because if you feed more content, just say you are starting your small consultancy business or else your business, if you're just having a like a barbershop or something, if you tell more stories and feed content to the Google and all those platforms, you can rank, you produce more content, you are the PR house, all those kinds of things. So start blogging. H1 Taxi is kind of cool if somebody does a website for you, try to see, make sure that page has, a, has an H1 plus an H4 tag. It's kind of technical, but if anybody just like go through the fundamentals of uh, your leg. You missed the point, you know. <laughs> well, the thing is, I showed up. What, uh, that's, that's the best thing, right? And uh, so that's really good. So, H1, H tags, try to have it like it's like if you click this link, I would say, like if you guys are getting the presentation, try, try to, you can see what's an H1 tag, technical, but like easily, if somebody does see you on a website, try to see if it is there. I believe H1 and H4 should be on a web page to get the best favorability. I've been testing it for like a couple of years, like that's one of the ranking dynamics, so it's helped. So, strong internal linking. So if you have a big page, you know Wikipedia, rank for a lot of keywords and so much because they have the most internal linking. If you go to a big page of that, you can see how many links are there. If you click it direct to another page. So you do a lot of blogging and then on a web page, you do internal linking. So uh, which is the Wikipedia style. That's a core tip. People are not doing it lazy because it takes time. You can't get this your advantage. So like these are really important factors like the secrets. So then it's going to be like, as I said, an example web page about uh, user engaging web page, do it as the best as possible than your competition has and score it, Google loves it. And then CTR, CTA is call to action, try to have a focus so people can take an action on the web page just like now they are coming, they can't find the number and all these things. So that's about it. Let's go to the next page. If you even have any questions, just ask me, that's fine. I'll try to the answer while trying to play. Ah, no, yeah, this good. So this is the title tag again, and this is the beta description, which is fine, it's very clear. And then building the brand. It all comes down to building a brand. Whatever the niche you want to start. A chart consultant tell the more stories than anybody else. There is no question you will rank on after applying the on page properly. You will start ranking. Building your brand, searching these famous brands and loves it when you are the most uh, storyteller once you got the on page right, right? So that's the kind of the focus. And uh, yeah, if you Google click do, this is kind of you got the brand. This is, I don't know whether you're getting like that. If you Google, do you get that? You get that? Okay. You see, you I've got that one, I've got that one. You got that one. To verify my address as well. Yeah, then you've got to start getting this one, right? And um, powerful backlinks. Backlinks are core factors. That's how the search engines got started. Google was done with the backlinks, right? So there are ways of getting backlinks. Maybe you do the most amazing website and you have powerful content that people do backlink for you, right? But right now, the industries are getting so busy, like, People would not backlink to you. Ideally, if you can put our website down and BBC links to you, Huffington Post links to you, all those big websites links to you, your SEO is good, you can rank on top. So it's not happening unless it will happen down the line when you start building a brand. But there are ways to do that one, right? So you make sure the website is done nicely. Let's go to the next side. And then these are the kind of the thing. Google business posts, right? So if you go to Google right now and just search even click to, there is a function that you once you get the business listing a verified business listing this is for local business owners mostly right and then you can start blogging on uh, on uh, on google a quick one let's go to google right now and just show the example like in a minute so that they can get it here nobody else is doing cool SEO factor killer secret start doing that one don't tell anybody else and just start doing that that alone you can literally Present what the right person. If you guys want to test drive this one, literally go to a meetup uh, BNI and start with this search for click do. Right? And this is highly monetizable. This alone is like you can make money by just literally getting started, right? So, no, 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 no. Search on Google, search on Google. Just go to google.com and it will go to the website. Sorry, Fernando, so yeah. BNI, what does it stand for? BNI, I just British. don't uh, no, Something British, 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 right? This is British. British. Business meeting, you search for BNI, go for your BNI group meeting. You go there, you like have your first ten clients. You know, you have clients, but I'm just saying, if you want to attack and get business owners, yeah. right? And it's like London, it's London, yeah. all, yeah, it's all, it's all, all over the world. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. just to do some one. Okay. So, um, 
if you search this one, if you scroll a little up, right, there is a way uh, how you can like uh, just click on so These are Google My Business blogs. If you Google right now, most probably all your clients have it, like we have it, right? This is blogging inside Google on the link that I've given on that presentation. There is a five minute video, I'm little not like ten minute video, I'm showing how you guys can do this blogging, right? As a business owner, that's a whole secret, you guys can start doing that one. If nobody's doing it, you can start offering this to business owners, literally how you can package it and tell, this is your missing. The SEO company is not doing it. No other SEO company is pretty much I haven't seen at least in the UK, right? So this is blogging, and if you click this, you can make this a link to your website. So this is a powerful backlink, right? This is like, because when you have a link from, this is I'm linking to a, uh, what this is our click tool. I mean, you guys can see how much of branding. I literally have three people sitting in the office, like hammering Facebook Live and videos all day. Because I want to make sure like 5.3 million business owners mm -hmm. literally see click tool. Mm -hmm. That's my goal mm -hmm. in the next three years. Absolutely. Right? So I have three rich people literally going every day on Facebook Live, creating videos, like running the show every day. Pretty fun at the office. Keegan was there today, right? You saw the show, right? Yeah. It's like a, it's like a fun place, right? Wow. So, uh, so this is kind of branding. So you guys saw on that one, but that's a very powerful backlink. All you guys can start doing, or else, it's in a, and then we come Facebook notes, right? This is Facebook notes right now. It's also getting a backlink. There is a no section if you go to a page or a personal person. And I will give you the time. Sir. Are we having another fifteen ten minutes? Yeah, about five ten minutes. Right. So then. Uh, Google Facebook notes. Facebook notes is coming up because they are about to drop the search engine, right? Nobody's predicting. Get started with this one. Start writing your story, try writing, telling all those kind of things. You can get backlinks. It's just like go to your profile, see the notes section, and start blogging on that. And you can literally create backlinks and all. Nobody's doing that. They look good to me. Right? So so now you guys are gonna do, but don't tell any of this here companies. Unless you're gonna do less company, right? right? And then uh, then SoundCloud's podcast, which has been a killer one, you can really start sharing. You can tell about your social media and everything about and go hard and then get that code and embed it on a web page. If you go here, I don't know whether it has shared it, the Google Consultants has some blog posts and there is, you can literally do it on SoundCloud and embed that media aspect on your blog post or on the website. On a website, when Google, when you have a lot of media elements than anybody else, of course you can, when you're covering these things, your, your page gets more favorability. Google has to rank it, Google has to love it, right? So go on this one, and then it's about creating your personal private blog network, right? Come to people in Demystify, now having over like 5,600 people over there, it's kind of like creating your own blog networks, and then really it's like the gray area Google don't like it right but this time you gotta rank it anyway right so if you guys are anywhere into SEO or else think like your SEO guy or anybody want to learn that dynamics come to this group I have 5,600 people I'm literally searching now it's a marketplace and um, and there's a video I have shared about how you do it why you do it all those questions you can literally ask a question somebody will answer that one and it's a nice activity one so let's get those are the key do it on page right come to here do that one and then again it's branding like this me, right? This is like this one today morning. I did a video like already it's going for like 12, 400 plus people. Why do I do that? I'm getting prepared for the Facebook branding. Plus it gives me a lot of a uh, lot of uh, social signals. If you guys search, I have a SEO consultant group plus an SEO consultant Facebook page. Why the reason? I want to make sure I've done that and giving the branding signals to Google to pick up this guy is the real. Because if you Google right now for best SEO consultants, I'm probably just next to most, most is the biggest, like the guys who started this year and the stuff and all, right? And then, uh, and all the other things are list posts on authority webs and I'm, I'm my that page, Google decided to place it on like number one too, right? Because they realized this is giving so much signals because Google is reading Facebook pages and the stuff. Of course, if you Google a brand name, you can see your Facebook pages there. So if you have a lot of good content on Facebook page, you get a chance, yeah? So this is, you guys can go through that one and uh, I have some, uh, live session which you can do if you go to do media page you can see how much of a hard work literally by watching that you can see what you need to apply if you're building a brand and yeah as again same facebook uh, like now this is the youtube channel like running the show creating awareness all these restrictions having a backlink this is plus from people to create brand and attention and then again this every video if you go it has backlinks from my side which just which i want to run yeah Check Google Plus, yeah, it's another thing how we actually do the Google listing and the posting and the stuff, and then, yeah. Social media secret, yeah, just go on it, yeah. Facebook Live, try to do a lot of Facebook Live on the page and create uh, the videos. And then it comes close, it's kind of the 
for you to remarketing little tip right so one thing what you can do is that you can do pay-per-click i think he's going to power up the ppc google address yeah you're going to cover that one you do ppc just say you launch a new website nobody knows it no traffic came you do ppc get the first time traffic visitor to come to your web page you insert the google pixel code on the website and then you target them all day long and show that video amazing thing that will trigger them to come back and what happened Google Analytics, once you install on a website, is important when you're starting a website, you've got to have it. Analytics start picking up that signals, and then uh, they know then the user has come back because you did a nice video and target them, and you trigger them to come back again, and which you should try to sell at that point. It's, it's going on SEO. It's like Facebook is really cheap at the moment. I think he's doing that one. Yeah, you can, anybody can consult him, which we also doing, right? And uh, remarketing helps, secret SEO, this is how it helps. You can't use it, get them back. What else do we have? Here, yeah, remarketing, you can do display networks as well, showing ads on different things, and get that person who saw your brand one time came back again. Google loves it. Ranking number one for SEO Consult London. Yeah, still ranking nationwide right now. It's crazy right now. I love it. Yeah. Even last week the talk was because we ranked, yeah, and then again doing a building a brand. So that's the thing. After this one, after guys cover up, you guys if you have any questions you can ask. But like let's try to connect on Facebook literally everybody. I like to connect in person. Because I have a mission, I want to connect a thousand people in like especially in like who is on the mission which I can help plus you can help me and we'll do business. Most probably I'll try to serve you up. Right, you lost yourself. Let's try to connect on Facebook, which is going to be fun. Like we have fun on Facebook, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right, and then um, and I I already see I want some of the things what you're doing, but depends on the price. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah.